in this lecture we'll use a 3d file if you don't have it i have still attached it as a resource to this lecture so you can download it import it and follow along let's select x y and z head over to plot and move to 3d and select 3d bars so this looks too crowded let's scale down a little bit let's go in for let's say 1 to 20 and go to plot and then okay so we have something like this and we can rotate it around so this is a nice way of representing your your bars if you have x y and z you can also represent it this way and you can edit it as we've shown you can start with the layer properties you can change the background styles you can also change the size and the plane is what I usually work with so you can maybe do say front corner or you can do a whole cube and let's change this color to let's choose blue and the thickness let's choose five which is very thick and we can also play with a lightning and you can choose some bright light or well, maybe darker is fine let's try dark colors yeah let's choose some dark colors okay so you can have something like that and let's move it around okay let's do it this way this plot shows x y and z so that's what that's the coordinates that we have you can select the plot properties by double clicking on one of the bars first one is you can change the border so we can change this to let's say blue and change it to let's say two or maybe we are doing too much blue let's try black and there you go and you can also change the shapes to let's say cylinder to full pyramid you can do other shapes as well this is a mixture so you can you can do many things with this and you can also change some of these are the gradient and you can also come to this side and you can keep the shape or if you want to change it so if you keep it you have this you can slide let's say the x direction to be more broader and maybe narrow the y direction or you can just keep the shape you can also do some color map so to do the color map you select this which means you have from you have from 1080 which is this to 9080 which is this but you can head over to color map and you can change the levels you can also change the fill so this is the rainbow has been selected but you can go to color list and choose your own colors so i like kill 13 
I use it a lot and you can apply and it changes if you have error bars you can also add them we didn't add error bars and you can also add labels and basically you can edit your your access as we always do so you can edit them and make them more visible you can remove the grid lines if you don't want them so there are so many things that you can do with this and make it more presentative of what you're gonna achieve so yeah let's check the next one which says what and that is 3d stacked so it's the same so for 3d stacked you have to let's add some columns so column add let's add 10 columns and let's just copy this and and then paste it so it's the same you just have to have an x a y and a z and you come in and head over to plot and go to stack oh i always forget it's too huge let's just do about 10 of them and then plot and 3d and you stack it on it so it's just the same way as we did the usual bars you can also come in plot 3d and you can do 100 percent stacked so it kind of fails and use percentage to because it's 50 50 i just duplicated you see that it's the bar is at 50 but if it's different you can edit that and 3d so you can use some of all these tools to help you it's quite interesting what you can do with that we have 3d walls um, 3d stacked walls so we already did that um, we already did waterfalls but these are walls let's let's see what that can do and head over to plot and there you go so sometimes if you have a huge data set you don't appreciate much so let's come to 20 and then plot and 3d wall so it's just your 2d graph but it's printing in 2d in 3d for you so it's kind of this is your graph but it's going to print it's going to add a constant x um constant z for you yeah constant z so you have your x and y which is this and it adds a constant z for you so you can come in and play around can do stacked walls and all these in here so that'll be it for section 9 which is 3d plots